Welcome into the Bro Force Squad podcast. We're here to give you guys another world famous movie commentary on Godzilla by Kong, the new empire. Godzilla times Kong, the new empire. Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. Whichever, whichever title you want to land on, that's the movie we're watching today. Uh, we have our movies paused at roughly the 50 second mark. We're going to go around the Monarch Observation Station here and meet the fellow bros. As always, I am the mad scientist, and to my left is the mayor himself. Uh, now, Horns, it, it, does this take place in a galaxy far, far away? This takes place in Hollow Earth, which uh, actually when oh, my Lord ex-wife, of the Rings, okay. Yeah, no, that's Middle Earth. Way different, and the only reason I specify, because we're not fucking nerds, is when my ex-wife and I were looking at getting married, she wanted to get married in Middle Earth. And I said, that's way too expensive. But we were able to book a venue in Hollow Earth. Now, as we all know, the wedding didn't happen because she broke my heart into a thousand pieces and ran away with our travel agent, Derek. Yeah. Fuck him. Still together. Really happy for them. Yeah. Yeah. Really happy for them. Hope he's a mean burger. Wait, you know, you like hang out with him? No, not at all. No, sorry, not. No. Um, just to be I, clear on the commentary, unrelated. Uh, we're watching this on Max, and my Max had like a 35 second preview of right, a House of Dragon season two. So, if someone is like watching this on VOD or other format, just the legendary pictures, like purple logos yeah, up on the screen. The little the purple Jello stuff going on. Yeah. Um. All right. So, the mayor, the mad scientist. We're here to give you movie commentary on Godzilla multiplied by Kong, the new (laughs) empire. We're going to hit play in three, two, one. Get your Kong on. Any math nerds out there, if you want to do that equation for us, what is Godzilla times Kong semicolon new empire? What does it equal? Write in the comments below. Let us know. That'd be a fucking terrifying love child. That's like a spring break mistake. and Oh, yeah. Gone horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah. Um, Brian, this is what our fourth or fifth Godzilla movie we've done, but the only yeah. one in the MonsterVerse, actually. Uh, yeah. Did we do, I guess, well, Kong Skull Island. I know we did a review. Did we do a commentary on that one? I don't, I don't think we did. Okay. Yeah. I don't think we did either. Uh, interesting Horns fun fact. This is pretty surprising, actually, especially considering the the trend that we've seen lately um, with a net, but this is according to IMDb with a net budget of 135 million. This is actually the cheapest monster verse film to date. Uh, and Adam Wingard, the director of it cited uh, they, because in Godzilla vs Kong, supposedly there were several extra scenes filmed that were VX VFX heavy that were eventually cut from the film. So Adam Wingard stated that the script for this movie had very few changes heading into post-production. So pretty much oh, everything wow. they shot, they used, which, would seem That's to be unheard of, right? But it's like, why don't, why not do that? Like this shit is expensive, filming stuff that doesn't make it into the end cut of the film. I could have gone. swore I saw on. Now this is Wikipedia, so it may be different. But that this movie was five hundred and like seventy million dollars to make. Hmm. Maybe uh, in Canadian. Ah, yes. So opinion, hollow, again. hollow Earth. Now, Brian, help me out here. How is this? Re- is this where Skull Island effectively is? I because remember I, there was like that like passage that people had to travel through to get to it. Yeah, I think maybe. I think you can get there from here. Maybe I th- like I, they're like neighboring suburbs of each so other. So it's a, it's a direct. It, you can fly there, but you have to connect somewhere. Right. Right. There's no direct flights. Do you have to get off the plane and change planes or do you stay? No, they just got to refuel. Okay. That's not too bad. No, not bad. Kong is scrappy as we've seen in several of his other movies. Yeah. He's got some, he's got some grit. And spoiler alert in this movie, we're going to get a little Cal Ripken from him. He's going to have to play hurt, but he'll be damned if he comes out of the lineup. No, he's not. He's not going. Holy shit. Yeah, nothing intimidates your opponent more than bathing in the blood of one of their members. 
Damn, I didn't see that coming. Green blood, bold choice. He's like, God, this smells like shit, though. That was yeah. a calculated risk. Yeah. Like, it worked, but, like, now... Is it kind of like when you get uh, sprayed by a skunk? Aren't you supposed to like, shower in, like, a tomato juice or something? Something weird like that. Yeah. I've never actually been been skunked before. There's an Axe body spray commercial in here somewhere. <laughs> Hollow so Earth is that dinner? Gorgeous. Probably. Kong looking a little gray there. Yeah, he's he's not looking he's not That's, looking great here. He's not in his twenties anymore. Ooh, got a crack tooth and everything. Man, that does suck. Let's get his dinner stolen. I mean, he's just having a bad fucking day. It's, it is a rough Monday for him. Everything in Hollow Earth is so ugly. Interesting to start the movie here. Yeah. I will say. I've is this where we movie. last saw him, though? Can't remember. Yeah, if I remember right, at the end of uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, Kong goes to Hollow Earth, and he's, like, effectively either, like, their leader or he's, like, ruling a certain part of it. And they set up an outpost to, like, Mon- Maya Hansen. That's not yeah. her, that's her character name in Iron Man three, Rebecca Hall. She yeah. uh is like I knew exactly who you were talking about. I didn't Yeah, because the and she adopted, remember the little girl who can communicate with Kong yes. and took her into the real world. That's right, that's right. Um, let's just get this out of the way. This is this is the dumbest fucking name that we've seen since uh Suicide Squad to Harley Birds Quinn Prey, Harley, Prey. Harley Quinn's yeah, since, the, adventure. since they literally changed the title while it was in theaters to try and increase ticket sales. So Rebecca Hall's character is back. I believe her and Brian Tyree Henry are the only two human characters that return. And obviously Gia, her daughter that she adopted. Now, I have not seen this. This is a blind watch for me. Um, obviously I, I prefer my Godzilla commentaries this way. I yeah. think I've, I think I've blind watched more Godzilla movies than I've not blind watched them. So it's an art, it's an art to it. Yeah. I've seen uh, it once and I enjoyed it. I have an affinity for the monster verse movies. You know, I, I need to I need to get get into them more. I, I I haven't found one that I haven't liked. Yeah. So this is always a bit clunky, but you have to do this because they want it to be very easily accessible for people. So this yep. is the exposition dump at the beginning of the film explaining. All right, there are these kaiju that exist on the surface. Godzilla is our protector from them. Kong, meanwhile, is in Hollow Earth, and he's ruling there to basically keep them from escaping and coming to the surface. So we have our two protectors. Yeah. Tag team in it, right? And in Godzilla, King of the Monsters, which is the second one, the Millie Bobby Brown one that you were talking about off pod previously. Yeah, yeah that's the, the only one that, that I think I will refuse to watch because I just I can't <laughs> fucking stand her. Fair enough. The point of that one is Godzilla. There's effectively like a tournament. It's not well organized and uh, the NCA isn't involved, but it's, not it's basically combat. like. Right. It's basically all the kaiju fighting on Earth to see who is the dominant one. And when Godzilla wins, it effectively like puts all these kaiju at bay. So when one of them does step out of line, he does this right here, where he fucking fire breaths them. And oh, wow. Them back Yellow them. blood now. Another bold choice. Love I, I just us. don't understand. My like fucking screen is off. Whatever. Like that title, uh, like the font came up. It was like in the bottom right corner of my screen. It was not oh, centered. That's weird. Is it um, back center now then? I don't think so. It's fine. You've you've done a commentary on one of our Godzilla movies where it was like the corner of an iPad and you didn't even have the uh, subtitles. Yeah. Yeah. Is so Godzilla, Godzilla using the Coliseum as a yeah apartment? He, he, He's way too comfortable here. This He's like your friend who sleeps on your couch, and it's like, 
hey man, I'm cool with you staying here for a little while, but like, are you even going on job interviews? Yeah, like it's it's been four weeks. And not only have you not bought any groceries, but I know you're eating my food. Yeah. Don't take advantage of my kindness. Don't you? You literally have my bag of Cheetos in your hand. Right. I can see the crumbs on your shirt. Now, this movie, I think, does a really good job of balancing the human storyline with the monsters. And we go back and forth with this, like, because you see people complain both ways, right? Like They're like, oh, there's too much of the humans in this. Fuck that. And then sometimes it's like, why are these monsters even fighting? Like, what's happening? Uh, which is probably less common than the other one. Where do you think you stand with that? Like, how much human... Uh, screen time do you want devoted in a monster movie specifically? And then what do they really need to do for you? Because if you go sit in the theater to watch a Godzilla or a Kong movie, we know why you're going, right? But at the same time, they do serve a purpose in like giving reasons for the fights, I would say. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna say I want probably a, a 60-40 split, maybe 65-35. I think I'm 65-35, yeah. Yeah. Um, because you can't just have, you know, an hour and a half to two hours of monsters fighting, right? Yeah. Especially when your monsters can't talk. They don't have dialogue. So, and you don't want them to, and I don't want them to exactly. So you have to have something to give us like, why are they fighting? You, you have to explain that somehow. So you use the humans as the vessel to get us from, from battle to battle and fight to fight. And I think I, a lot of the Godzilla movies have done a, a really good job of it, whether they're in the monster verse or not. I think they've all done a pretty good job uh, in general of, of towing that line, not giving us too much human stuff um, and really giving us what we want. The Gareth Edwards 2014 one um, really walks that line because the human stuff is great in it. There's yeah. a lot of it. I loved it, but I could definitely see some people in that film, even though we do get Godzilla early, which is a big key to like keep people at bay. You can't have Godzilla show up like 40 minutes into a Godzilla movie. Yeah. But but that one, the human stuff, like Brian Cranston's arc with Aaron Taylor Johnson. and It was incredible. Yeah. But you're almost like, you forget, like, is this a Godzilla movie? Yeah. I don't think which you'll is, have that problem. Which, which is, that's, that's a problem. Uh, that's a different kind of problem, right? Yeah. Because when you're watching a, a monster movie or a Godzilla movie, you, you want to make sure you always know it's a monster movie. Like, that, that's that thing that, like, we always say, like, you made too good of a movie here. Right. So Gia here, who was adopted by Rebecca Hall's character, who I'm just too lazy to look up her name in the last movie, she has like a sort of like a psychic connection to Kong. And mm -hmm. so this is like your classic trope where like kid it makes creepy drawings. What does it mean? Um, and the teacher here is like, look, we have a, like a really big uh, math decathlon coming up and Gia's on the team. We need to know her fucking head is screwed on straight. So we either need to Get her on some drugs so she can focus, yeah. or we need to replace her now. Yeah, shoot her up, shoot her up, Doc. Play through it. Now, what are your thoughts on Dan Stevens, Brian? Obviously, he was Beast in Beauty and the Beast. Um, he's fine. Okay, I hate him and wish he would die a fiery death. Okay. He is the comedic relief in this movie, which uh, just does not work for me. He's a he actually has a pretty big role in the film yeah yeah and i don't think he's he's ever bothered me now does he is it just because you don't like him just because of this or you just don't like him in general i just don't think he's a good actor at all like everything i've seen him in i'm just like i could think of 12 people that would be better in this role than you I actually think be is, cheaper yeah that is true yeah he is like you're like well I have a coupon for Ryan Gosling and they're like, we're actually sold out of Ryan Gosling. We can give you Dan Stevens though at that price. So this is the Iwi language is like a language that she speaks with Kong. I don't know how the fuck you'd ever translate this. Cause it's like a sign language that she has with him. Yeah, so she's like know. the Kong whisperer. Gia is. Caesar McCong. Yeah, basically. She's like... Uh, oh, so she's drawing the, the seismic activity here that they're picking up. Which I don't know how that fucking works, but whatever. It's going to get us where we need to go. Science, yeah. Look, this is, this is, a, this is a buy it or you don't situation, okay? 
Banner, this is what your lab looks like, right? Since you're a scientist, you have all these fucking... I don't know how your wife uh, puts up with the power bill each month, but you have all this shit being powered, right? Of course, yeah. Except my 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 screens actually have signal, you know? <laughs> I gotta say, of the two jobs that Kong and Godzilla got, Kong got fucked. Like, he's down in Hollow Earth dealing with God knows what. By Godzilla's himself. up here... Yeah, Godzilla's up here taking naps in SoFi Stadium. Yeah. I definitely don't think they got the even uh, evenly difficult jobs. I mean, you got to negotiate for that shit up front, though. You know. Yeah, that's true. That is true. You that's can't, on his agent. Yeah, you know, you can't halfway through ask for more vacation days. Kong got caught in a Scott Boris situation. Really overplayed his hand. Thought the big offers were going to be out there, and then at the end of the off season, he's stuck. You know, holding his dick. He's like, well, now I have to sign with Oakland. Gross. I'll just retire. So Brian Tyree Henry's character is still, if you remember the first one, he has like a podcast. Uh, and he still is doing the podcast in this one. I think uh, that's actually why he goes with them, if I remember right. He's like, I'll do, I'll record video from Hollow Earth. So, uh, so he's like the reporter because the, the stereotypical reporter that's with them. Sort of, but he's not like, a credible reporter he just sure. he's like a youtuber basically yeah but i mean these days like what's the difference in a youtuber and a credible source very true the youtuber might actually get more eyeballs depending who they are right brian tyra henry's in a lot of stuff man yeah he's one of those guys that like you don't really realize that he's in some things until you go back and actually think about it yeah he's a voice in spider-verse he is in Trans Voice in Transformers One coming out. Obviously, oh, this. Yeah. He was in Bullet Train last year. He's in one more thing. I can't think of. Man, he's been he's been doing a lot of work here recently. Yeah, been very very busy. Got to pay the bills, man. Mm hmm. He definitely does have like a pot like the set designer is, which is a job that I think would be really fun. But did a really good job of like, all right, what shit that he would have like in his background? Like that first shot, if you noticed, he had like a Godzilla plush. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. If, you had a, if you had a channel called Titan Truthers, that would definitely be in the background of your shot. Yeah. I mean, you look you look around the lab at some of the decorations I have and you're like, oh, yeah, totally, totally get this guy. Titan Truthers brought to you by MeUndies. Want Me a comfortable fit? <laughs> wow, they sponsor every podcast. It's so fucking weird. Have you seen the Monarch show on Apple TV Plus with Kurt and Wyatt Russell? No, I haven't. I haven't either, but I've heard it's really good as like a prequel to these. It, it's in it's in the universe. Okay, and because it 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 follows like after that, like Monarch already knows about Kong, right? Yeah, so it's cool because Wyatt Russell plays a younger character of Kurt Russell, like they're the same character but like forty years apart. Oh, that's cool. Then. Yeah. So Wyatt Russell's character is around, uh, like his scenes are about the time of Skull Island. In fact, that expedition might be happening like at the same time as what's going oh, on. Oh, okay. And then Kurt Russell is, I think, like this timeline. So it like cuts back and forth. That's really cool. Yeah. I'll have to check that out. I've been looking for a looking for a new show to dig my teeth into. Yeah, I haven't watched it, but I've heard really good things. So I probably need to watch it before the. <coughs> I'll give it a go. It was interesting. Why I saw an interview that, that Wyatt and Kurt Russell did for it, and they were like, "Yeah, we get asked actually all the time to play father and son in movies, but we had never been asked to play like a younger and older version of a character. So that's why we were like, oh, that'd be cool.' Yeah, I think I think uh, playing the same character would be a lot more fun than playing. Um, like father son father and son yeah. yeah like we get to do that all the time anyway yeah. so like oh so you just want us to like hang out so that app with titan alerts what if you turn off push notifications and shit goes crazy in hollow earth but you're like oh i didn't know i'm sorry i have my notifications off uh yeah that's uh you're missing out because my shit that's gets... so fucking cool that he's just sleeping in the coliseum yeah and it's like what are you gonna do like who's gonna yeah. who's gonna tell him so he's just like cool with people now, right? Yeah, after the 
uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. He defeated all the kaiju and is basically like, look, I'll protect Earth, but also don't fuck with me. Okay. I mean, but he is kind of being a dick. Yeah, he is. And like, but like the helicopter's like, look, I'm not trying to shoot at you. I just want to get a good shot here for my YouTube channel. So this is the portal that like, that little like swirling water thing, right? Yeah. So okay. Hollow Earth is like, I can't remember how they accessed it in Godzilla vs. Kong, but here it's basically like they can go anytime they want. They're just worried about the monsters coming out. And so that's why Kong's, he's like salaried employee now. His job is to like keep shit there under control. Right. So they're both kind of working for the humans. Uh, now, do they get vacation days? And what's the 401k situation? So they claim it's unlimited vacation, but every time Kong puts in to take days off, you know, he kind of gets passive-aggressive comments made to him by his manager. So uh, you know how it works. It's it's technically unlimited, but every time you take a day off, you kind of get shit for it. Yeah. Make you feel guilty for, you know... Right, it's relaxing. bad. It's bad management. You know, I've earned those days. Right. Four hundred one k. They match up to forty percent, uh, but they will also match charitable donations one for one. Okay. Yeah, so I guess Kong like rang the bell. Was like, yo, pull me up real quick. Oh, it's his tooth. Yeah, it's all fucked up. Yeah, He's so the dentist. Dent, the dentist in Hollow Earth, uh, this is really doesn't make sense, but it's actually out of network for him. So that his is, insurance. That is absurd. So he has to go. Right. He has to go on vacation to get to go to the dentist. Yeah, absolutely. It's insane. Wow. Yeah, so his insurance doesn't cover anything in Hollow Earth, so he had to come up. And I believe this is Dan Stevens' character. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Great. You're so eccentric. We all have those actors where it's like they could just breathe and you'd be like, shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah. Kind of where I'm at with Dan Stevens. He was in a movie this year that I loved called Abigail, but I couldn't stand him in it. He's just one of those guys. I feel like this would be the ultimate insult to an actor, but like everything that he does on screen, I can tell that he's pretending. (laughs) Like I can tell that he is on a movie set like reading lines from a script yeah. like it, it's unnatural the way he delivers them right and as an actor you'd be like well that's literally my job is to make that not feel like the case or just rebecca this just hall seems like a really bad idea yeah let's just strap his fucking <laughs> tooth up and rip it out of his mouth uh, I feel like he needs that too. That's like a really important. That's like yeah. the canine, right? Do they replace that one? Because like, if you like, how's he gonna eat an apple now? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to say he's being dramatic, but like, dude, he had a toothache and he came up and was acting like he couldn't walk. He's like Paul Pierce when he hurt his shoulder and had to be carried no. off on a wheelchair. In a fucking wheelchair. Yeah. Like, isn't your arm hurt? We said, wasn't it like he had to pee or something? Well, there were rumors, and I actually think they've been corroborated by a few. Okay, it looks like they did. Okay, they did replace it. The rumors were that he had actually shit his pants. That's what it was, yeah. And and he was like, I can't get up. And if he acts like his knee hurts and he goes in the locker room in a wheelchair and then sprints back out, people are going to be like, what the fuck? (laughs) I thought you were like on the brink of death. He looks like, uh, I don't know. I yeah, feel like Sam costume. Rockwell would have been perfect for this. Yeah, the, whatever the, yeah, this is like, uh, if, have you seen The Fall Guy with Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so he kind of looks like Aaron Taylor Johnson's character, like in terms yes. of the costuming and the hair. Yeah, I can see that. But again, Aaron Taylor Johnson would not. He he'd already is in the Godzilla verse, but this is not a role he would take. He's like, uh, you want to be the the joke guy? No. no. Come on, I'm better than that. Kong's like, look, I am still tripping balls from this sedative over here. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Yeah. 
So they would they give him like a like a titanium tooth? And also, did they just like have that on hand? They're just like, oh yeah, here. Yeah, in case anyone who's the size of a gigantic ape needs an incisor replaced, we have a whole stockpile of them. Yeah. Because you really can't use that for anything else. So I think the Titan Talk guy, they want him to know uh, like what he th thinks is happening in Hollow Earth based on these seismic readings. I don't know why he would be the resident expert on that. Uh, so he's like the conspiracy theorist guy, right? Exactly, yeah. But okay. I think they've learned in the last one he was right about Mecha Godzilla, so they're kind of like, all right, you do have you have hit a few home runs okay. before you've connected. He's like Adam Dunn and Mark Reynolds. Like he doesn't right. connect often, but when he does, it goes 500 feet. Right. This so, came out when did this come out in the spring? Uh, yeah, I think March maybe, like spring break time maybe. Dude, this should have been a summer movie. Yeah, yeah, this is a missed opportunity. This is a uh, this is like a like a Fourth of July weekend movie actually. Definitely. So yeah, this part is cool because sort of in all of the Godzilla movies, anytime Godzilla is on the move, they know that something fucking bad is going to happen. Right. So like, especially when he gets in the water, they're like, oh shit. Yeah. So Godzilla is basically like, Kong can't fucking handle it in Hollow Earth. Like, let me come do this shit for him. Oh, so Godzilla's on his way to Middle Earth. Hollow Earth. Remember, Middle That's Earth, we, we, can't af we can't afford Middle Earth. Sorry. Sorry. Although, you know what? He would dominate there with his, like, ice breath shit. Oh, my God. On, on the fire? Come on. Game it over, would be, man. yeah, within like a week, he would, there'd be Godzilla yeah. merchandise popping up everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, yeah, so the Hollow Earth outpost that they have, no one's responding. So it's kind of like a Jurassic Park situation. Okay. Like, we can only assume the worst. Either that or they got so fucking hammered at the company mixer that everyone's just sleeping in, hungover. Which is highly possible. Probably yeah, I mean, probable. I would say that's, pro I mean, it is a Saturday morning, so like, if you're calling at 8, it's like, Come on, what do you really expect? Yeah. And I, I don't know if they're like, well, of course, the second Kong leaves, like someone attacks the outpost. I mean, that's that's natural. That's what always happens, right? You got the distraction. <laughs> yeah, you turn your back for one fucking second. Look at this fancy spaceship. Now, the director here, you see this obviously a ton in Hollywood, um, but Adam Wingard, who I love, he's done a, uh, the movie Your Next, which I don't know if you've seen that one, but it's a really, really, really good horror movie. He did the first VHS movie. Um, let me see his directing credits. Oh, you know what? He actually also directed Godzilla vs. Kong, so he has good track record here. But oh, he worked yes. with Dan Stevens on the movie The Guest, so I'm assuming that's why he... Mm -hmm. call. He also did the remake of Blair Witch in 2016, which I heard good things about. Yeah, I heard good things too. I'm just not a big fan. Not a, not a Blair Witch guy. That's fair. Yeah, I don't do Blairs. Oh, yeah. I actually like this the pilot. He has got some funny scenes once they get to. Dude, this ship is badass. Yeah, I remember um, in the f last one, they go to Hollow Earth briefly, but there's some really cool, like, like the way the gravity there works is really interesting. Yeah, because, like, like, everything mirrors itself, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, the, the tough thing with this franchise is, like, all we really want is Godzilla and Kong on screen together. However, you have to make it happen. Yeah. And they're getting to the point, like, especially when, when this one ends where it's like, all right, how do we keep it from just becoming so like the st quote unquote stakes being so high that it's like, like, I would honestly love for them in the next one. Don't try and make it bigger, make it Godzilla and Kong versus like one or two other Kaiju. You know, it doesn't need to be them versus like a gigantic army of things or going to space. Actually, that might be kind of cool. Yeah, no. Time no, out. send them to space. Send yeah, them to space. Yeah, time out here. 
<laughs> going to space, like if they send them to the moon, boom, right there. That that's would perfect. be yeah, that'd be fucking sick. Um, or I would be fine with a uh son of Godzilla yeah. or son of Kong situation. Huh, maybe that happens in this movie. We'll see. Oh shit, does it? I don't know. Oh, I feel like you do know though. Uh, I don't know who owns this IP, Universal, but like this needs to be a ride at Universal Studios or Six Flags or whoever. Yeah, I think I think it's WB. I think this is Warner Brothers. Okay. So is that Six Flags then? I think that's Six Flags. Yeah. Take an edible and go on this. Jesus. Like just that scene right there was almost too much. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I, I kind of, I'm kind of bummed I didn't see that on the big screen. That'd have been fucking cool. Yeah. So I, I'm fortunate enough. I have a pretty nice home theater setup because Nate Thurman bought me a badass like speaker and subwoofer, and we have a projector. So this was one of those movies that I made sure that I watched on that setup. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, uh, throw this up on our projector watch it again yeah where, I, where i've got sound because i feel like the sound in this is got to be pretty good too definitely obviously, obviously with the uh us doing the pod we gotta listen to it without sound yeah so kong gets back and he's like fuck i uh i left my phone here i probably have a thousand text yeah. messages my main bitch been hitting me up my side piece would hit me up too man right yeah well he's got two separate phones Obviously. Well, so I'd have to dragon looking things. I was gonna say I'd have to rewatch Skull Island, but I think like a lot of I can't exactly remember how it ties into Hollow Earth, but I know there's a very strong connection because I think like a lot of the creatures are the same. Yeah, I think you're right. In fact, maybe Skull Island is like a part of Hollow Earth that is like protruding onto the Earth. That may be. That may be it. And so you can get to Hollow Earth from there. Yeah. Like, it's like semi-Hollow Earth. But I believe that's why John C. Riley's character says Kong is growing so big is because of something, like, in the atmosphere on Hollow Earth. Like, he will perpetually grow. Oh, so Godzilla's in France now. Yeah, he just wanted to try a little bit of the French cuisine. He shows yeah. up with a beret and a glass of red wine, and then we'll go down. Having a nice little escargot croissant. Okay, yeah, so if I this was in the Gareth Edwards Godzilla. So to recharge, Godzilla needs, uh, like, nuclear energy. Like, so right. he, always, he always goes to, like, a power plant okay. right for a battle. Because Muto in the first one had the same thing. So they were basically yes. like racing each other to nuclear power. That's right. Here he's, he's just like, taking ah, some. He's, he's just getting high as shit. Yeah, just taking some hacks in the, the batting cage here. So I guess he's sucking it up. Yeah. He's doing whippets. Yeah. Why would you try and attack yeah, him? Yeah, like, no, this is. Why? Yeah. Are they attacking him because he. Blew up their attack the maybe plane? or maybe France just doesn't know the deal. They wouldn't, right? They would fuck everything up. God, Shit, see, they just made it worse. Yeah. And now you have to question: Is he going to have enough power to fight the battle? Because right. He just did had he to just, waste energy doing did that. Have, did he have to waste it on France instead of whatever monsters we're going to encounter in Hollow Earth? Fucking, fucking French, man. France stepping in, trying to take the charge. Just let him drive to the basket. This outpost is really far away from the entry point. Yeah, I mean, what's the uh, what's the reasoning to have it so far, so far in there? You know, in this real estate market, this property values are just crazy. Like, yeah. this is a, this is not as good a school district, so it's a lot cheaper. Uh-oh. Funny Kong's in the background, like his phone, his, it wasn't plugged in. God damn it. 
fuck. Guys, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Give me 10 minutes. Yeah, I, I just need to make sure it's... Pack. I need to make sure it's charging. They would have to pay you a lot to work at the outpost in Hollow Earth, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, like, an exact figure, but, like, a fuck ton is probably about right. <laughs> we can just go ahead and put that on the check. Yes, of course, the second Kong walks away, someone fucking attacks it. Kind of looks like Kong attacked it. They're trying to frame him. He's got an alibi, though. He's literally at the dentist. Yeah, that's true. He's like, check my uh, credit card statement from when yeah. I charged. I got a nine hundred dollar fucking crown, okay? Yeah, and that's just the copay. And they didn't even give me the good pain meds. No, I know. I knew they had them back there too. I yeah. saw them. They just said Tylenol and ibuprofen. Get, get the fuck out of here. This is his studio apartment. He's got a fucking Murphy bed. Pulls down out of the wall. <laughs> Cincinnati Bengals poster up. He's just a big Joe Burrow fan. Yeah, huge Burrow head. Tries to go to here. home and an away game every year. Yeah. Like, why well, I'm here, I might as well grab a battle axe. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean what else am I going to hold? My phone? It's fucking dead. Right. I can't even set my fantasy lineup. I will say Godzilla is bigger and probably um, more durable, but Kong's agility, nimbleness, and ability to do things like this, like you could never, Godzilla could never wield an axe. He just doesn't have the mobility no, to do it. No, and, and Godzilla is like a bull in a china shop, right? Right. Like Kong, Kong's got some finesse. He's like a fullback Godzilla. Like he can really only run dive straight ahead. Yeah. Kong can make some moves in the backfield. He can get open. Yeah. He can, ca- he can catch the ball a little bit. Mm-hmm. I you want to say her- thumbs of his opposable thumbs. It's the key. I want to say I heard a rumor, unfortunately, that Adam Wingard is not coming back for the next MonsterVerse movie. Mm. Which, as fun he's as he's done a great job. Be, yeah, he's done a really good job. But as fun as these would be to do, I could see them being very laborious. Just a lot of VFX work. This is an uncharted part of Hollow Earth, which I would imagine is probably most of it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think so. I would think so. Oh, cute. Is this the ape from Planet of the Apes? The green eyes? It kind of looks all, like it. It's Just all saying. one universe. Just saying. So this part's kind of fucked up. Playing with the cuteness. The subtitle said Mini Kong. Oh, what a yeah, fucking same. bitch. Yeah, he's a little shithead. Where are your parents? And why would you be... Oh, there, there, there's... Yeah, it's part of a trap. This guy's not much of a looker. No. Fucking jumping him. Get his wallet! Uh, I was just about to ask, why would you why would you bite a guy that's holding a battle axe? But now I now I get it. Kong's no bitch though, dude. You're gonna no. like, you better come correct. Yeah, he's like Batman. He's oh kidding. shit. Regular I love age? I love anytime somebody catches like a bat coming at him. So fucking cool. This is yeah. light work for Kong. Yeah. Except for he's like, I don't want to fucking hit you, but if you're gonna yeah. keep biting me, you're gonna be in Son of Godzilla, check out our commentary oh, on shit. that. He just, yeah, kind of like this. He uses the kid as a weapon. Jesus. He was just using that kid. He was like, this is like a fucking pillow fight. I love how Kong is just like, he literally kind of does fight like Batman in the Arkham games. Too much compassion. Yeah. Bro, he just saved your life. Yeah, Yeah, I'm not going to grab you now. Yeah, no. Dip shit. You get one chance. That guy was like 58 years old. He's like, dude, yeah. it's it's like, not look, man, no, I, I'm good. Oh, he's a lefty. 
Oh, interesting. What a shot. That was great. Great throw right there. Yeah. Way to lead it, the receiver too. Yeah. You know? Very burrow esque, if I'm if I will. That's where like the safety is in position, but you trust your guy to make a play. Right. You throw that that's the purest thing. Your throat where he's going, not where he's at, right? Beautifully said. Yeah. Oh, I was like, do better. I know your no. your dad's probably not in the picture, is what I'm guessing, son. No, he just went out for some cigarettes. He, he'll be back. Yeah, seven years ago. The line isn't that long. That's another friends? I think he's just like, look, you probably didn't know what you were doing. They probably paid you, but like, I kick the shit out of people very easily. So maybe don't get on my bad side. Yeah. Again, it goes back. Why? Why the fuck do you bite somebody that's holding a battle axe? Just not. Just Plus, not Kong smart. clearly looks like he lifts. None of those other three apes did. Yeah, even leg day. So this one thing I don't understand: Hollow Earth. They know like basically nothing about, except that it has crazy ass creatures. So when they're saying that their radars are picking up like another ape, but that's impossible. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? No, this place is insane. Like, what do you mean something's? It's impossible there's another giant gorilla here. Yeah, I mean, improbable? I don't even think that would be the right word. No. So she can feel it. She knows it, right? She knows the. Yeah, G- Gia has like this mental or like psychic connection to Kong. Yeah. Which it's never really explained. Yeah, again, you buy it or you don't, okay? Yeah. Uh, now I'm, the the air obviously is breathable. It's it's comparable to to normal Earth. Yeah, but not in not all of the places there. I don't think I okay. can't remember. Do they have like little like uh, you know like the little little masks? I think I remember them using the, those in the last one. That's what I thought too, but. Maybe they've they've learned something now. They they have an outpost there. It's, in this There's one, samples. A lot of the movie coming up. In fact, almost the whole third act takes place like kind of subterranean. Ooh, are there some like crazy like bats? Yeah. So that is one cool thing about this, and part of the fun in this franchise is they're always finding like cool wrinkles to give the monsters. But uh, a lot of like weapons are about to come into play. Ooh. Okay. That the I would not just are... let a fucking big ass mosquito like that bite me. No, dude, in a like basically a world you don't know. Yeah, there's no way. Like, who knows what kind of fucking disease you have now? Exactly. Exactly. He's gonna be dead in ten minutes. I'm kind of some Jurassic Park vibes. I was, I was just about to say, I, I feel a little suspense here. Or maybe like more like a Jurassic Lost World Jurassic Park. Yeah. Vibes. It, the daytime forest expedition. Mm-hmm. Again, his hair, like who the fuck signed off on that? I yeah, it's like it's like they're trying to do like a Bradley Cooper thing from uh hangover but like try not to make it too obvious it's really not working no now the the cargo pants and the uh hawaiian shirt that's that's definitely helping the situation holy shit did that tree just eat him yeah and this guy's letting mosquitoes bite him on purpose oh my god i did not see that coming that was wild you knew that guy was gonna die though well yeah obviously I'm going to go out on limb, though, and I say everybody everybody that's left, these four here, all survive. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're looking at this crew, there's definitely not, like, an obvious. Yeah, there's yeah. not an obvious number two here. There's no couple either where you're, like, one of them might yep. die for the emotional payoff. It's not going to tear us apart. Right. Uh, maybe, maybe um, 
Rachel Hall's character and the, and the little girl, maybe one of them, maybe. Possibly. In a sacrifice shock. play, I would, I would say. Yeah. Oh, what a shock. The radio doesn't work. God damn it. Obviously. You're, you're in Middle Earth or Shallow Earth. Hol- what is it called? Hollow Earth. Hollow Earth, yeah. And what movie doesn't go from Hollow Earth to Cadiz, Spain? Godzilla's yeah. like, where is my wallet? They won't let me in without my passport. I need two forms of identification. <laughs> I have my electric bill, but they said that's not good enough. And, you know, getting through customs is a pain in the ass as it is. Always. He should have done the international traveler. He didn't. It was a huge mistake. He didn't want to pay the upcharge. Kind of don't blame him. So, again, yeah, wherever he is swimming towards, you know that's where shit is going down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, general rule of practice, if you see Godzilla, you want to you wanna go the other way. Um, but if he's definitely going towards something, you don't want to go that same way. That's a cool little sea dragon thing. Yeah. In uh, King of the Monsters, it's established that Monarch has, like, tracking devices on all of the kaiju. So once Godzilla in that movie, like, wins and he's, like, the king, anytime one of them move, they're usually like, oh, that's going to piss off Godzilla, and it usually does. He's like a pimp, and they're his hose. It does not disappoint. Human human civilization. This is where I'm confused. They're, like, shocked that humans live down here, but isn't Gia part of a tribe that was literally from Hollow Earth? And, like, her language is unique to hollow earth so if they're like oh humans were here she's like bitch i'm from here uh, yeah yeah i i think i don't know what the difference between like skull island and and here is i think skull island is part of hollow earth okay it's just like a it's like how is it Hawaii like part of the united states okay Like, Brooklyn is part of New York City. It is. Yeah. Is this snow or pollen? Because someone's allergies are about to act up. Yeah, if you didn't take your Claritin D today, you are fucked. Yeah, and no one here has Nasonex. They wouldn't They wouldn't let him bring it on the plane. No, it makes it, sense. Too much liquid. It, yeah. Smart to bring the um, non- uh, Digital camera, because you never know what the shit down here is going to do to your electronics. Yeah, that is smart. I actually haven't go, thought of that. Got to go analog. Yeah. Getting a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie vibes here when Dulcia brings Ooh, the Rangers together. Yeah. New. God, she's so hot. She's so hot. Dulcia. As I said that, the little girl came on the screen. I just want everybody to make sure. I'm very <laughs> no, clear refer- We are definitely referring to Dulcia. Uh, yeah. Go check out our movie commentary on that, by the way. Yeah, that was a fun one. That was an awesome one. That was way early days of the pod. It was. Oh, a little lightning bug? Hey, Dan Stevens, why don't you let this one bite you since you seem to love it so much? Oh, can she talk to the bugs, too? I don't know what her like, power set is. Oh, now you don't want her to? like Give consistent advice, dude. Yeah, I, I, he is just kind of being a dickhead, too. You know, like, do you just, like, do you have to be a douche? He's like, well, I, when I put this shirt on, I have to act like a douchebag. So I think she can read the inscription on there. It's in her language. Ah, uh, okay. This is cool. The use of the, I was like, use of the water to, to open, you know, like a trap door or whatever. Oh, yeah. Didn't Uncharted do something like this, the movie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Uncharted, that's like, it, and that's a lot of the video game, too. Uh, one of the National Treasure movies did something similar as well. I think the second mm-hmm. one. What yeah. the fuck is this thing? This is like, this is like the, how you, where you go to the upside down at. <laughs> it looks like the thing in Arrival that Amy Adams talks to the alien through. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. That was a very good, unexpected movie. I didn't think I was going to like that, but I actually really enjoyed it. Same. 
So this obviously looks like something. What is it with his deal and touch and shit? He probably I don't should. I was gonna say this obviously looks like something you shouldn't fuck with. So of course Dan Stevens' character, his role is to be the guy that pushes boundaries. Like, don't get me wrong, I I would want to poke it too, but I would poke it with a stick, not my finger. That's smart. Oh, she's just gonna rip into it. Jesus Christ. See? He's like, should she be doing that? Her little headband thing, she looks like she plays soccer at Wake Forest. <laughs> Come on, she couldn't get into Wake Forest. Mm-hmm. This is like like North County Tech University. But, but she might be able to transfer after like a year or two. Yeah, yeah, she's just got to get get her grades up a little bit. So I think this is one of those parts of Hollow Earth where it's like the gravity is all fucked up. It's very bright in there. Yeah, I would put my sunglasses on. Yeah. Also just because you'd look cool. Naturally. Yeah, they, they've done a good job of, of highlighting the uh, a lot of the monsters here. Yeah, and I do kind of like how, to this point, Godzilla hasn't had as much a role in the story. He's just kind of like trying to get to the action, but it is kind of cool how they both have like their jobs, him and Kong. Yeah, but in a Godzilla movie, that's 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 half the movie, right? Is getting him to where he needs to be, and then the entire third act is him just yeah. just fucking people up. The anticipation. So. I, I, they're they're staying very true to Godzilla in that sense, and they're kind of splitting the rest of the time in Kong and and the humans. Godzilla's kind of Dude, like Kong just looks like a fucking badass. Now, like he got his mojo back. He was looking rough at the beginning of the movie, but like, yeah, after he beat the shit out of those three apes, he's feeling himself for sure. Yeah. You can tell Godzilla's like sensing that another kaiju is, you know, getting too big for their britches. And he's like, he's the dude that wakes up and is like praying for a fight. Oh, yeah. Can we trust this little monkey? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he did bite you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know he was working for those other apes, but who's to say that? he still isn't working for them or that he's just a bad kid in general. Kong is very, very hygienic. He likes to clean himself. Yeah. He understands <laughs> that it's important and it is a good way to make a good first impression. Oh yeah. You can't trust this fucking monkey. In Kong rinse. Skull Island though, he fucks shit up in the water for some reason. You'd think he'd be at a big disadvantage, but yeah, he like, totally fucks up that squid or yeah. Uh, yeah like the octopus thing mm-hmm. now this thing looks a little bit more dangerous yeah no this is this is uh you know we're 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 not in double a anymore here right this guy's more than just a fastball yeah this is shallow water so that does help a little bit. Did this monkey set him up or did he just get scared? No, nah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think he set him up. I think he's going to get help now. Damn bro. The ax went that Whoa. far. Kong has a fucking cannon. I'll just say. Yeah, it. he does. On his days, he's not pitching. They put him in right field. Jesus. Look at this. Jeez. Hang that one up on the wall. That's going in the man cave for sure. Oh, for sure. That one has to, right? Did the axe break? Uh, I don't think so. I think we, I think it's still in, intact. He's like, how many more people do you have to see me kill before you realize I'm not fucking around? Damn. Yeah, he's just like, this is some good shit right here. He put like a nice little rub on that. Yeah. Oh, you want some, monkey guy? I bet you do. I can't believe he's going to give him some. I he's, can, I, he's just he's just a big softie. He's too much of a softie. Yeah. That. Can't say no. Oh, so now he, now he doesn't want it? He's like, I don't want handouts. He's like, yes, you do. Yes, that's exactly what you want. Okay, fine.
Do uh, is is Kong a, a straight carnivore, a straight meat eater, or, or does he he mix in some greens too? I mean, not to be beastist, but he's got to eat bananas, right? I mean, I would think so. At least, like, if nothing else, right? This is almost like, even if he doesn't want to eat this, he kind of has to as, like, an alpha move. Like, I killed it. I should probably... Yeah. I mean, it's just out of respect. It did try and kill me first, but... Right. All right, so this is one of the other kaiju that was moving, and the kaiju know after Godzilla, King of Monsters, that they're not allowed to migrate. That's, like, Godzilla's thing. So it's sort of like a... What are you doing? Like in Men in Black, right? When the aliens right. try to escape and they're like, why are you leaving, bro? So Godzilla's yeah. here to tell Tiamat, like, uh, motherfucker, I saw you. Yeah. Loving the uh, bio, like, bioluminescent colors here. Yeah, th they do a really good job with, like, lighting in this movie. Yeah. A lot of times, this is my knock on Pacific Rim, which really cool premise, and I love kaiju fights. But in that one, a lot of times it's just so fucking hard to tell what's happening. Yeah, that those same were, with the Transformers movies. Some of those. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of like even in fight scenes, like combat scenes, where you got a shaky camera and mm -hmm. and the real fast splits. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Same. See, and now this is. This is Godzilla saying, hey, Kong, you got one, now I got one. Right. You know, it's, it's one a dick one. measuring contest, it, yeah. really. It's exactly what it is. The other kaiju need to know, like, you can't just do what you want. No. Like, Godzilla, again, is, is like the pimp. This isn't a free planet. It's not. That's sort of, so Godzilla King of Monsters, it's kind of plotless, but it's cool because it's basically just like, it's like playing the game Mortal Kombat where like you just fight one person and then the the like character slides down on the totem pole to the next one. Right. It's just Godzilla doing that. It's like, all right, he fought Mothra. Now he fights Ghidorah. Now it's like, I don't care what, how he's getting from place to place. These are cool. But they had to do that more or less to set something like this up, obviously. Right. So I don't know if... <laughs> Okay, that was funny. <laughs> you can have you can have my little knife. <laughs> <laughs> those are cool little like ice spheres. Yeah, those are pretty sick. Are those available at the gift shop? Even like a replica one, I would. Um, you can't take it on the plane with you, but they will ship you can, it. Free yeah, you can charge. in right. a checked bag, right? Okay. I don't know if he wore like all his Boy Scout badges as like a way to try and get respect or if this is just like the only vest he has i mean why can't it be both right he's like well if we're going on an expedition i do want you to know that i've earned all of these right so i'm assuming this is gia's maybe not her specific ancestors side, maybe or like something like that yeah but they saw her and recognized her They're like oh, okay you were from hollow earth okay yeah so you're i don't good. know if her i feel like her language is a little bit different though they talk about like how she can feel her thoughts is what she just said sure okay this looks like a cult meeting we just i have to point that out i mean probably is probably is so, so is this like where all the portals like meet yeah she said uh these are vortexes we didn't know about these are all portals to the surface so in theory, if like a monster from Hollow Earth, or if they wanted to like invade regular Earth, this would be a great place to start. A place to start, right? Strategically. Right. Which I don't think we knew this existed. Is why the, we, as in the humans, built that outpost near that portal that Kong would just go through all the time. Right. right. Kong would commute to work sometimes from Earth. Well, you know, I mean, he's throwing his. He'd throw in his headphones, listen to a true crime podcast. Thank God they brought Gia. No kidding. They'll be like, get the fuck out of here. Sadly, the people with blue ice spears kind of get to do what they want. Yeah, again, again, 
it's kind of like, why are you going to bite the guy with the battle axe? Like, I'm not going to argue with the people with the ice spears. I got to give Rebecca Hall credit. She's like a very acclaimed and prestigious actor. And this day on set probably looked and felt ridiculous, but she is not mailing it in. No, 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 no. We, uh, again, I don't know that I've ever seen her in something that, that she has mailed it in. No, same. She's great in everything. Now, I, don't, I was going to say, now, I don't know that she's been in, like, a bad movie where, you know, there are those bad movies where you're like, okay, they're just acting circles around everybody else because they're trying. Yeah. Supposedly in Iron Man 3, her role was, like, absolutely butchered in the editing room. Like, she was going to be like can, the, the main villain, and they turned it into Aldrich Killian kind of in post. I can totally see that because... Uh, her character in that movie felt weird. Yeah, it's kind of bizarre. Yeah. But I know it's your favorite one, so I won't shit on it too much. How dare you? Something's Getting happening. Some, like uh, like uh, Superman vibes here. Definitely Fortress of Solitude vibes. Probably yeah. the same home designer. Or interior decorator who yeah, did she's got, yeah she's got a she's got a style and type the g we are like hey we just want to like rent to your daughter where well, you can have her back oh calling for help okay well what do you think these three people are gonna do unless you're calling like kong you know that almost yeah. looks like it could be kong's tooth May, yeah. Oh, damn. Are they going to give that to him and put it in his they, fucking tooth? It looked like Joe Pesci in Home Alone. <laughs> he goes, an SOS for what? They already live in a nightmarish hellscape. What else could possibly scare them? Yeah, some of this stuff I'm not quite picking up on. I'm not quite understanding. Now, that may just be because... Um, you know, we're talking, I'm not exactly now that's badass. The no, the skeleton, the, the uh, second, bridge. the second act. Yeah. The second act of this did confuse me, but the third act, I mean, spoiler alert, it's in the trailers, but once Godzilla and Kong get together, it, there's a lot of, there's two specifically badass set pieces and they do make sense. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried. They had a, it had a really good first act actually. And again, I'm getting a little, little lost here. Um, but I'm not. I, I have faith. I know we're going to get 90% uh, monster fight, you know, the last 35 minutes of the movie. At now, least. it does feel like the kind of annoying part is like how they get Godzilla to Hollow Earth because clearly they decided like, all right, we want this, like the final fight to take place in Hollow Earth. So I guess Tiamat like escaping, maybe Tiamat just like freaked out and was like, I don't give a fuck about the rules. I need to try and like run for my life. Is that maybe why that happened? Like Tiamat yeah. picked up on that. I can see that, yeah. You know, one reason you actually might like Godzilla King of Monsters is the guy who, like, realizes what's happening, like the monster tournament for supremacy, is your boy Charles Dance from Game of Thrones. He's in it. Oh, okay. And so is Kyle Chandler, who I liked a lot from Friday Night Lights and Wolf of Wall Street, Super 8, Game Night. Yeah, he's yeah, he's great, too. He's Millie Bobby Brown's dad. I just don't know if I could do it, dude. <laughs> I just can't stand Millie Bobby Brown. Like, and she is like the star of that movie. Like, she I know, like, and she thinks she is God's gift to the world, and she is a horrible actress. I'm sorry. <laughs> and she thinks say... she is the best. Like, she's offended that she didn't win an Oscar for <laughs> Godzilla: King of Monsters because my, she, she did such a good job. My sister-in-law knows her. Because Millie Bobby Brown uh, just got engaged to someone who went to college with my sister-in-law. So they've partied together a few times. And you're going to hate to hear this, but my sister-in-law said she's really cool. God damn it, I hate to hear that. <laughs> yeah, but maybe she's, like, different with them than she is, like, professionally. I don't know. Maybe she's... I don't know. It's just, And I'm sure this is partly the media. Just, like, you know, things that you read and, like, interviews that you see. She sure. just, She just seems like she has the biggest stick up her ass. And... I, I don't know. I'm just not a fan. Like she hasn't done anything to prove to me that 
like you are a good actress. These these apes aren't fucking around. Fucking heads on on pikes. Yeah, so I'm guessing Kong didn't know any of these other apes existed. He's just been like walking around this whole time in Hollow Earth, like thinking he's the only one. You just say like like he's with me or I don't know. I wonder if one of them attacked the outpost because they knew that it would bring Kong back. Oh, are they like slaves here? Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. Oh. Kong's like, uh, bro. Anyone else that thinks their dick is bigger than mine, it's like prison. Like I have to fight you right away. Right. You got to establish like where you're gonna land in the hierarchy. Kong is like the kid who's really good at Street Fighter. Like he might lose the first battle, but then once he like learns the controls, he comes back and does like crazy shit and always wins right. the too. Did he kill that Damn. guy? That's a good if, way to say He is at least knocked out fucking cold. If yeah. Not, not his else. eyes were open. That's the guy knocked out earlier. Yeah. It's like, I'm not doing this again, dude. It's like he chucked a rock 80 yards. Yeah. Ooh, this guy, this guy looks like his eyes. Needs to, like, he needs to take care of his skin. Not the best posture. That wouldn't really intimidate me too much. Uh, who would win? This is a little off topic here. Um, but while we see this fight about to come up, which I have a feeling this is going to be fucking awesome. Yeah, uh, like a bone whip around his chest. That's pretty yeah. sick. Uh, like, it's someone's spine, I think. Who would win? Kong or Rampage? Wow. I mean, that's so hard because to me, they're basically this, like the same thing. Like right. the Rampage Gorilla is like a direct ripoff of Kong. Uh, I feel like Kong, is it a best two out of three? Uh, sure. I'll give you two out of three. Two out of three, it's going to be Kong because he, he is much smarter than the average ape. And actually, I think he's good at like making adjustments. Like, you play Kong in a seven-game series, and you could get outcoached. If it's a single elimination tournament, like the NCAA tournament, Kong could definitely get upset. I can see that. I, I'd agree with that. But if you give him seven games to make adjustments, that's when you're in yeah. trouble. I don't know. If I'm Kong, I look at this guy, and I'm like, do you even lift, bro? Like, you're just yeah, too scrawny like, for me. I was going to say, he's like Kevin Durant lanky. That's a great, his body type does look like Kevin Durant's. Like, he's just got these, like, long, long arms, long legs, and kind of a small torso. And also, Dang, this guy's like, right into the fucking lava. This guy's like, well, I, I beat the shit out of all these apes, so they respect me. Kong's like, dude, in the last four hours, I've kicked the shit out of, like, ten of them. Again, man, oh, I don't, I don't know. If I had if I had a bone bone whip thing like this, I would probably fuck with the guy that has a battle axe. Yeah. This is like they're playing for pink slips. Like winner gets the other one's weapon. Oh yeah. Damn. I, I see. I don't know that you would use both of them though simultaneously. I feel like it would be hard to whip the whip around in my while head. I agree. Still not hit using that the axe. In my head, we will rock you was playing when the apes started pounding the... Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Ooh, shit. Ooh, okay. Yeah, keep that in mind for later. That hand is fucked up. Because that thing on the end, it's like poison. Ah, uh, okay. So that hand might become immobile here in a little bit. Fuck, Ooh, man. So is, is his tit going to be also? Because he keeps... Well, I think that, that right side is going to gonna start to get a little numb it's like a jellyfish sting i think right here perfect example of kong getting upset in a one game yeah this is where kong's like a choke collar bro i lived through the early 2000s this is nothing new for me yeah this is a we slow think. tuesday bro i still work at hot topic i got 15 percent off i owned like seven of these yeah if the fight goes to the mat red dude has no chance no not at all we will, we, we will. will rock you. 
But you're a young Kong, young man. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace. What's happening back here? Oh, are they going to splash him with lava? Oh, that's fucked up, man. Let these guys fight. This is yeah. a pay-per-view. Is that not also going to kill the other apes? Uh, oh, wait. Oh, okay, we got another guy it. here. Didn't know. I forgot about this. I don't know. So the other, so it's a tag team match? Is this or Godzilla? Is this, is this Godzilla? No. No. Some other monster thing. I don't know, but this thing's fucking badass. Holy shit. This Dude. shows you how desperate Red Ape was. He was like, I can't beat you on my own, so I gotta... Yeah, I gotta go bring to out my, my white stegosaurus with the shark face. Yeah, gotta go to the bullpen. Dude, cool. whoever came up with the... Oh, shit, that thing, like, controls it. No. Oh, so is it, a, like, one of his spikes? He, like, Maybe. ripped out the spike? That's pretty sick. I also love the visual contrast ice dragon thing in the lava chamber. Oh, the, uh, that axe is so clutch. Ooh, uh oh, no. Too cold. Yeah. Fuck. Did that break That'll, his hand? No. Not all this is breaking his hand, basically. Yeah. Is it all the same hand? Yeah, it's all the same side. Yeah, it's all the right hand. And we know he's a lefty, right? Right, so it's not the end of the hand, world. So, so he's it's okay. He is pretty ambidextrous around the rim, though. He can finish with both hands. Yeah, I mean, you have to be in this, this day and age. Right, in this league with all the shot blockers? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of a chicken shit move by the apes. Oh, 100%, yeah. Damn it, and they got his axe. That fucking sucks. I feel like that little that little guy's gonna come back and and help him out though. Get the axe to him. Yeah, I feel I like that, that that ice dragon could f freeze those chains and get oh, out. Oh, so of they're there. learning they're learning all of this by reading the the walls. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't know. There's something weird here where it's like it also kind of predicts the future. What's written there? Okay. Again, yeah, the second axe losing. I, I'm not. It's not losing me. I'm still very interested. Don't get me wrong, and I'm very much enjoying it. I just don't. I just don't know what's going on. Yeah. So something is causing like the monsters in Hollow Earth to rise up, and it says like the Earth's two protectors have to awaken to or unite to fight them. Right. And Mothra, who was in King of Monsters and got banished to Skull Island, they say is like the third protector. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Which. It's kind of just like fan service, but it's cool. Mothra is like in a montage scene in King of the Monsters, though, not really like featured as a villain. And Mothra, but he, so he's so he's like a Fast and the Furious situation where he is, uh, he he was a bad guy, now he's a good guy. Exactly. But Mothra gotcha. actually followed the rules of the battle in King of the Monsters, and when Mothra lost to Kong, he was like, "All right, well, I'll just retreat." Nat I'll naturally, him. I'll park it. Yeah, so Kong's hand, I think, is getting even more fucked up here. It's cool. He's like Ewok-esque. He's booby-trapped the island. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was fucking cool. So he set all that up already? Oh, no. This is like, this is his territory. Yeah, this is like his charted territory. Yeah. Which I think is what they want, because they want him to lead them to the some of the portals. Oh, because they're trying to escape also. Yeah, because they don't know about those seven portals that the Iwi people had. But obviously Kong has that, like one-way elevator that he takes all the time right right the one that's kind of by the by the destroyed outpost yeah where he got his dental work done Ooh, <laughs> can't fool me so kong's like damn bro if i was even like 60 yeah. percent And even though this works, you know, Kong's like, I would prefer to beat the shit out of them on my own. Yeah, but you know what? It's not a fair fight. There's like 15 of them. Oh, yep, there he is. Oh, nice. All right. Well, I guess you've redeemed yourself now. Yeah. For that time you tried to take me. Well, like, could you go get me some Tylenol or something? 
Yeah, extra strength. And get the liquid gels. The other ones take too long to work. Yeah, they, yeah. And I don't know, we might be out, but if you can get some of that spray that soccer players use, that'd be awesome. Even if it doesn't actually work in my head, it works. Yeah, it's a placebo effect, and I know that, but it's fine. <laughs> this little gorilla's like, but honestly, if you're asking me to like help carry you, that's definitely not going to happen. No, absolutely not. So all Godzilla's basically done is like get in a few random street fights and then be followed by helicopters. Yeah, you know, he's just staying loose, staying he's loose. Just, he's sucking up all this energy, but it's like, dude, use it. Like, let's go. Did he just fall asleep? He just dozed off for a second. Is this like her quinceanera? They're filming an episode of Wild and Crazy Kids in Hollow Earth. I fucking loved that show. Silver Snakes right here. That was this Legend game... of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I can, I'm confusing my Nickelodeon game, game shows. <laughs> Whatever game they're playing, though, it looks so boring. They're just running around waving uh, kerchiefs in the air. Yeah, no, I'm... You like, win can we, can when we the like other dies of... <laughs> You win when the other team dies of boredom. So are those little, like, crystal things, is that, like, what makes the gravity or the Earth? Or That's a good question. I think we might have a Thor the Dark World situation where the prophecy says, like, once the crystals touch, the portals open up, and those kaiju are going to go to Earth, and then the gotcha. pr protectors have to fight them. Gotcha. So I don't even really know if there's anything they can do to prevent it except just prepare. It's just time. Yeah. Hur hurry up and wait. Right. What do you think he's eating? Like, what's the food like down here? Uh, I bet, I bet, the, I bet they got some meat trail mix. Yeah, I bet, I bet jerk chicken. Ooh, well. yeah. Those look like banana chips. Is what he's eating. Which, yeah. personally, I think are gross. I do too. I'm glad someone else thinks that. He probably brought those from Earth, though. I don't think he. Yeah, no. Hey, but I mean, honestly, I know we don't like him, but like, do you blame him? Are you gonna trust their food? No, I wouldn't. Like we just uh, met him. And you're paying resort prices, which is the unfortunate part. <laughs> we have definitely done that before. Oh, absolutely. Say it again, but make it sound as organic as it did that first time. Yeah. One day, I hope to be part of a group who, as a team building exercise, booby traps a forest. I think it's a really good uh, camaraderie builder. Yeah, I mean, you're you you aren't really a team until you booby trap a forest together. Yeah, it's what they say anyway. Every management book you read says that. All right, so this oh, so old he sees it now. Ah, fuck! He found the portal. Damn it. And he that he's like so he's gonna go tell red red ape guy yeah because he was about to get demoted but that'll definitely get him back in the good graces yeah. of red ape. Meanwhile, Kong's like I need the cortisone. Uh, does Mini Kong has have a name? Uh, actually, I don't care. I'm just gonna keep calling him Mini Kong. Yeah, that's his name now. Yeah. See, and they have it set up now where they could do a a son of Godzilla, son of Kong. Mm-hmm. Divided by a new, new empire. That's your title. Newest empire. A newer empire. Or do we go backwards and say slightly used, gently used car? Yeah. Good as new, era. refurbished empire. Amazon guaranteed, refurbished. <laughs> or no no it's they, Amazon calls it renew now. Yeah. It's a hundred percent who's that fool renew. <laughs> so so he's dying. Because he got frostbite. He's on not hand. yeah, he's not doing great. Um you know, he he was doing better at the beginning of the movie. Yeah, things have slowly gone downhill for him. Uh, do 
I mean, surely his metabolism and just the size of the medicine that he would need, like, has to be an astronomical amount, right? Yeah, the dosage that is what's really making it difficult. Too much in on there, buddy. Not a lot of good snack options down here. Yeah. I think they're like spicy food. But they're spicy, spicy guy. I think the like paint that they use is like uh, curry. Ooh, ooh, their face. All right, so now he's riding. Are you riding it? Jeez, that looks painful. Yeah, but again, like, flop your dick out and set it on the table. This is Godzilla's like closer entrance. Like when Mariano Rivera would come in to enter Sandman, he just waits till the game's on the line. He's like, all right, now I'll fucking show up. I've been charging for two thirds of the movie. I'm ready to fight now. You could not pay me enough to fly that helicopter. No, absolutely. Like, what do you even want me to do? Well, so why is Godzilla pink now? Wasn't he blue before? Is it because yeah. he has so much? I think he's charged up to a level that it's like pent up energy. Much. Let's see what they're saying now. Like we've never seen him get this strong because he kept going to where all the kaiju were, like stealing their energy. He's got the same dealer as Barry Bonds and Jose Canseco. Can't prove anything. Yeah, we got to figure out a way to get this guy back. Significant tissue loss. I mean, look, I, I don't want to be that guy, but like, do we really know what we're going to be able to do with this guy? I mean, it's kind of, it, it feels like we're pissed on a forest fire situation. Yeah. And it's not like, uh, if you need like organs donated or anything, there's not like another Kong lying around. Well, and I mean, don't, there they, are, but... don't they still have to go through a fucking portal to, to get to him? Or are like, we back uh, on earth now? No, no, we're still in Hollow Earth. Okay. There, but, like, yeah, like any other stuff they would get to help him, they probably don't have down here. Yeah, so, I mean, you're looking at even next day shipping. I mean, it's not going to be here before noon. Right, and it's coming from China, so it's not going to help. Uh, but apparently, and I think this is part of the Monarch series, there was a thing called Project Powerhouse that they're going to uh, okay. get going here. Interesting. Which I like this. A lot of people are like this. Is fucking stupid. But essentially, what they're going to do is give Kong a metal arm. Oh, I am totally okay with this. Yeah, isn't that that's badass? I think. Yeah. I mean, look, if they can fight Mechagodzilla, and like we can literally have an entire Godzilla that's a machine. Right. Uh, yeah, of course he can have a, a bionic arm. He's like Winter Soldier. And it can do some cool things too. We got some, got a little like, uh, like wrist, wrist gun action. Yeah, it's got like an electric thing it can do. Okay. I think it has like claws that come out of it. It's got several Ooh, uses. Claws. Um, I can see that. I don't know how this heals him though, because even with getting this though, he's still pretty fucked up. And Godzilla's like 110 percent health. Kong's been actually fighting the whole movie, so he's not in great shape. Yeah, but I mean nobody's nobody's a hundred percent in the playoffs. That's true. Except Everyone's for apparently playing. Godzilla. Right. <laughs> well, he had a much easier path to the championship. Right. The only reason Celtics won. Mm-hmm. I love yeah, this, this ice dragon. This is Yeah, I was just about to say this this ice uh stegosaurus thing that he's riding, I am I'm all about this shit. Kind of looks like a rejected piece of concept art from the one, like the new Hobbit movies. Ooh, yeah, I can see that. Okay, so there's medicine. Oh, in it. yeah. So he's get, he's got some penicillin there coming in. It's fine. A little bit of cocaine, a little the bit of four yeah. loco. Oh god, yeah, but not like the new shitty four loco, like the old four loco. The old that, one that like that is like not could good kill for people. your heart. Right, yeah. that's what gets him amped up. That I, I had way too much. I mean, I never had. Right. No, you didn't. You didn't drink ever. Uh, not until I was 21. Then I only had a sip of wine once. Once. And it was at dinner. Yeah. It was gross. 
Oh yeah, there we go. So like, yeah, he's he's like the Bionic Kong now because he's got a fake tooth, he's got this fake arm. He's more machine now than man. He's get his battle axe back for his other arm. He's like, I like this. This works. Oh yeah. It's like the Hulkbuster armor, sort of. Yeah, I was just about to say, it almost looks like the uh, the little glove from um, Homecoming that the Shocker has. Yeah. And yeah. for those other apes, Kong would beat the shit out of any of them if he was just healthy. So now he's healthy and has the glove. And it's like, right. I would mean, just fucking run. Well, and one on one, he's got him. The thing is, is they're ganging up on him. Yeah, there's like 30 to one. Yeah, it's, yeah. When you, when you, you know, it's like, him versus 15 midgets like yeah of course he's, it's still gonna be a fight challenge it's like us fighting like kindergartners we just toss them wherever we want yeah but when there's 25 of them exactly and they use their numbers to their advantage like they know how to fight in groups they're packing and apparently they bite oh that's like their main move yeah what does baby kong think he's gonna do like i know you helped like you got the element of surprise on those gorillas a little while back but in a straight-on fight you're useless uh, yeah, I think he's more like an observer, like a like a sniper. You know what I mean? He's gonna call so, it out. So she just said that uh, was uh, that made me dizzy. Yeah, the, the physics in Hollow Earth are quite a bit. She just said Kong is gonna try and call Godzilla down here so they can make their final stand. So I think he's gonna jump through the portal real quick and text him. Right now that his like, phone's charged, it's been like right. thirty minutes, and he gets way better service in the pyramids of Egypt. Well, naturally, yeah, that's where monster cell service was invented. Right, so. there's a couple cell towers up here. Yeah. Again, in, in Earth, in these movies, it's literally just like, fucking sorry, bro. Like, I yeah. don't know what to tell you. We had to use your city for something. I mean, at least they've used, like, well, we're on like our third continent now, right? So like it's not yeah, like they've, they're... they've definitely spread it out, I will say. Right. They haven't like just focused on North America or anything. But I don't think so, on anyone's bingo card. So they just card... brought the bionic arm down to Hollow Earth just in case Kong might need it. I think it was already down there. It was like at that base. Oh, they just never okay. had like approval to use it. So like they were already it was like a prototype. They were working on building him armor to yeah. help. Okay. I think in Monarch they talk about it being like a whole suit, but here they just had like the glove. Dude, I would I I could see him rocking a suit with like a medieval helmet. That'd be sick. We'll get He's like, bro, I need you. Alright, bro, I'm coming. Hell yeah. Bro, like literally let's do this. again, I'm drawn I've just pounded a couple Michelob Ultras. I've been wanting to fight all goddamn day. Because was like, if there's not a fucking Yankees lost, I'm ready to go. He's like in the parking lot just looking for Red Sox fans. He's like, if there's not a fight down there, I'm just fighting you. So does she just get like, like baptized? Gia? Yeah, she got parents. Parents signed up the waiver. So I don't really know what's happening here because this was like the portal room a second ago. So she tried, I think you just said she's trying to awaken Mothra. Oh yeah, they need their third uh, homie. Gotcha. Which Mothra, again, kind of like shoehorned into the movie, but it's fine. It's cool fan service. Yeah, Mothra's cool. I I, I, I have no problem oh. with any of this. Now, yeah. again, it's a, it's a buy it or you don't situation because... Honestly, I don't know how we got here, but. Well, it was written on the fucking stones, okay? Okay. Cool. All right, let's do it. All right, the stone tablet said it. Yeah. That's all I needed to hear. And again, Godzilla won't be pissed at Mothra because Mothra has been following the rules, just fucking chilling. Yeah. Got a little pent up energy, though. I can feel it. A little sexual tension here. 100%. You hope that, like, it's adrenaline isn't too much. You know, it's not like... No, no, it should be all right. Sprints out of the gates and can't control itself. I mean, it might need to take a couple licks just to, you know, get its beak wet again, but... So is Mothra going to go to the surface, or are we just going to wait for them to come down to Hollow Earth? That's the real question here. Yeah, I don't know. 
I would feel like she, I feel like Mothra would want to go to the to where the fight is, right? Well, I that's the thing. I I think the goal was for Kong just to go up and like tell Godzilla, like, "Yo, let's go down to Hollow Earth for the fight." Oh, but the but fight's gonna happen on Earth. I feel like some of it does. Yeah, I can't exactly okay. remember. Sort of. Yo, he is booking it. Yeah. Uh, Godzilla can haul ass in the water. Yeah. He, it's really impressive, actually. Again, Godzilla is just too jacked up. Yeah. A bull, like I said, a bull in a fucking China shop. Yeah, so this is against the plan. Kong was, it was like, ah, damn it, I left the door open. Flies came in. Yeah, it happens all the time, man. Honest mistake. And for Godzilla, it's like, could you destroy any more buildings on your way over here? Yes, I think Kong's like, I'm not the one you're going to fight. And Godzilla's like, I just need to hit something. This is warm-ups, really. This is like, uh, uh, is it John? No. Um, yeah, John Favreau. Yeah, John Favreau and the replacements. Yeah. It's like headbutting the wall. <laughs> it's like, bro, chill, chill, chill. A suplex. Wow. Okay. Kong's like, where the fuck has that been, Godzilla? Yeah, for real. Use that on them. Jesus. It's like two brothers fighting, and it's like, dude, that, that you've never done that move ever. All right, there we go. Yeah, he's like, I will fuck you up with this thing. Ooh, that's a good. It's a nice little armor to block the the bite too. It's got a lot of uses. Yeah. Because I was like, you did not have that last time we fought. Yeah, well, Godzilla couldn't suplex him last time they fought either. So, you know, <laughs> everybody's got new tricks up their sleeve. So he just knocks his ass out and is dragging him. This can't be good. It's getting all purple. Love- yeah, he's like, that was a really cool shot, though. He's like, I haven't seen the purple before. That's not good. I wonder if the blue is like cold and if this one's like hot. Maybe. I feel like this is like plasma. Yeah. Kong, nice little dive roll there. That was good. You know, for big loafing guys, they're actually pretty athletic. Oh, yeah. I mean, those 300 pound linemen, they, they're still fast. Like if you watch their 40 times at the combine, it's like faster than you and I would run. Oh, yeah. They're, they're so athletic. Oh, so yeah, okay. So Mothra is on the is on the surface now. He's like, yo, yeah. guys, chill the fuck out, okay? This will be good because they can huddle up and get a few plays put in. Yeah. So we've got like land, sea, and air. Is that oh yeah, basically. Is that what we're Mothra's like, we're chill, okay? Be cool. So, so can Gia talk to to Mothra and and Godzilla also? So she like coach? I think she can talk to Mothra because I think Mothra was like being kept in Hollow Earth. Okay. But Godzilla is like trilingual; like he speaks, I think, all the languages. Oh, okay. He understands them. He can't speak them. Right. He can get by. Yeah. He can say like, "Where's the bathroom?" and like one more beer. Right, naturally. Those are really all you need to know. Yeah. Where can I throw up? And, and even that's, I mean, secondary. Right. So do you just buy this paint at, like, Home Depot that turns the water all... Yeah, the problem is it never, when you get home and you use it, it never looks like it did in the store. It's never quite the same I color. I know, I know. Okay, so now that, I think the last, we have, like, probably 15 minutes left. Yeah. A little bit less than that. It's pretty much all fighting. How do you from feel Europe, about? Yeah. How do you feel about the balance of humans to kaiju in the movie up to this point? Um, I could use a little more kaiju. Yeah, I was gonna say a little too much I, human. I could use a little, little more Godzilla mainly because every yeah, time they show him, he's just traveling. Yeah, this this has felt more like a a Kong movie that Godzilla just happens to be in. I agree. Um, that's what it's feeling like to me. Um. Whereas I think it maybe should have felt like a Godzilla movie that Kong was in. Or give a more 50-50 split. Yeah, Kong is really like the main person we follow. 
Um, oh, they accelerated it by freezing it. Okay. Shit. Let's see. Let's see. That was, that was smart on their part. Give credit where credit is due. Um, this is Dan Stevens' crazy yeah. plan. Oh, so we brought, <clears throat> brought those guys to fuck with them. Okay. Yeah, like, I could use uh, a little more monster here, and I don't think the I don't think the human stuff was necessarily bad. I just think it may have been a little too much uh, on a commentary to really understand the nuances of, um, and it may have just been a little too heavy for for a movie like this. Yeah, they really do only give exposition, um, which I'm fine with, but it is a little plot dense. Well, that doesn't sound good. It's not. Uh oh. I brought my buddies. Yeah, him with the Hulkbuster arm is fucking awesome. Oh, were they freezing it to try and stop it from from touching? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. I feel like at this point though, you can't. It's, we're not going to stop it. We just need to hope that Godzilla and Kong win. Yeah, I think. So that's, cool that's that your only hope. The ice dragon is like the good villain for Godzilla to fight. And then obviously Kong has this ape that now has the battle axe. Because if the ape didn't get the axe, him with the hand would be really uneven. Yeah, but you know what? If he uses the whip, I, I think I still think that has an advantage over the hand, except for the fact that he could catch it. Yeah. Imagine him, and I think this might be how the movie ends, with the hand and the battle axe. God. That's and again, sure. we know he's a lefty, so he's going to be able to swing that motherfucker. Great. This Absolutely. is cool with this with the low gravity. Yeah, the like, of things. Really cool idea for a set piece. Oh yeah, locked. Yep. Yeah, see, that was what I was afraid of. Is he can catch? He can catch the whip with it now. And now his free hand is his strong hand. Good play, Mothra. There we go. Coming in clutch. There's your closer right there. Yeah, Mothra is like a really good complementary piece to these guys. Not the brawn, but definitely the agility and like this web shit is very helpful. Yeah. I don't... Baby Monkey should really not be here, if we're being honest. I know he's helping a little bit, but this is not where he belongs. Yeah, I mean, look, Mini Kong, look, you're you're cute. Um, I, I actually dig the fact that you have kind of that reddish, orangish... Uh, I guess hair is that what we're calling? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm liking that. Uh oh, Godzilla's getting frozen. Mothra, do something. Yeah, Godzilla's all about heat, yeah. man. So that's really not the best way to attack him. Oh, there we go. Now Kong he's got, got the, the axe. axe again. Oh, it's fucking over then. Oh, now we have gravity again too. Now, so the gimmick is is gone. Does that Take mean that the, the face? Does that mean that the portal got closed then, or no? Oh no, no, because it looked like he's kicking him, like he's going towards the portal. Play nice Mothra. catch again, Mothra. All about it's Mothra is a role player. Like he's not going to be all over the stat sheet, but he definitely makes winning plays. He's the Nick Collison man. Yeah, takes charges and just does shit that like you can't nobody else to wants to do. Yeah. Right. Not going to show up in the stat sheet. Damn it. So he lost oh, the axe. Oh, he lost the axe. Oh, fucking Brazil. Oh, so now. We're Brazil now? Oh, jeez. Fast and Furious crossover. That'd be pretty cool. That would be cool. They go back and like re edit to where this is happening in the background of Fast Five. <laughs> This would be more realistic than some of the stuff that happens later in the franchise. Freezing a wave is a pretty cool. That is pretty fucking visual. cool. I'm not liking the upside down spinny here. I don't. I don't do well with like. Same. Like, uh, did, did you ever see the movie Gravity? Yes. The entire movie is like this, and I, I like, legitimately yeah. was sick when I was done watching. I it. 
didn't see it. And I know this is like sacrilegious. I didn't see it in theaters though, and so it wasn't. Oh, as dude. Bad. Yeah. Thank God you didn't. Honestly, it is it is extremely low on my like ranking of movies. And most of it is because of the way that it was shot. I understand that that was realistic. And it, honestly, it was like visually, I'm sure it was really cool. Yeah, but I just didn't like can't it. fucking st- stand it. All right. Whip guy's really feeling himself now. Yeah. So does he have to do, does he have to be a single mom here and cook and clean? He has to control Ice Dragon and fight on his own. Um, I think Ice Dragon is kind of like a teenager. Like you just got to kind of like. Make sure they're Hope. making good decisions, right? right? Make sure that they have a good friend group. Right. You know, they always have a place to come home to, a roof over their head. Right. But, I mean, there's he's self-sufficient, I think. Kong is like, shut the fuck up. It took them a little while to come through the portal. It did. Oh, he I just like spit God- his tooth out. Okay. Oh, wow. Godzilla and Ice Dragon, pretty fair fight. I feel like Kong is just going to whoop the shit out of the Red Gorilla. Uh, yeah, because I, you know, it, it, until right now, you couldn't really tell, but I think, I think Ice Dragon might have might have the size advantage on. I think Godzilla. so. And Kong, well, Kong has definitely no, has the size advantage here. Oh, and Kong's had no trouble really with this guy. And the whip has got him a few times, but hell, right there wasn't even him. Right there, that was the uh, that was the ice I, getting hit by the ice dragon. Exactly. So it's like the sooner you that. can just take, yeah, ice dragon's going to require both of their attention though. So the sooner we can take care of Red Gorilla, the better. Did Mothra not make it through the portal? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Mini Kong. Mini Kong is going to get him the axe back. So why is the X blue now? Is it supercharged? Uh, you know like what? Like with I think the same thing as as his whip. Very possible. That's cool. I do. I don't want to spoil it, but I'm going to. But I think if I remember right, the final action set piece is Godzilla. Fire breath charges the axe, and then he like fucking uses it to blast him. Oh, like a uh, like a Thor charging up Iron Man situation. Yep, exactly like that. Fuck yeah. See, Godzilla's I was like, sorry, go ahead. Godzilla's like, me versus Red Gorilla is beyond a mismatch. Right? Like, if that thing touches him, he's completely. Oh, yeah, he just got asked to catch him. Oh, shit. Yep, you're Does, Yeah, bro, it doesn't even feel the whip. Like, what do you. Oh. He caught it in his mouth. Oh, he snapped it. Oh! Squash that thing. Um, I, this isn't something I ever thought I would say or even think about, but I kind of like the idea of mixing in some technology to help the monsters out and make them more monstery. Yeah. I mean, I I like the technology aspect of this. Yeah. It's like a cool way to like change the dynamics each time. I'll Uh, give Red Dragon. He is athletic. I'll give him that. He's an athlete. That is true. But yeah, he's, he's a slighter build than Kong. So he, yes, Kong is more of like a. Kong is like a tight end, and this guy's like a slot receiver. Yeah. But Sorry, also I interrupted the, you. Well, I was going to say, the, the technology aspect kind of helps make the humans, like, useful in a way. Yeah. Like, hey, we're going we're gonna to help you be more destructive to everything. Right. This is, where his long, this is the only situation where his long arms might come into play. Oh, baby Kong about to come in oh, clutch right shit. here. If you break the crystal, it's over, right? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Poor Brazil. Yeah, I mean, do they have any of that Olympic money left to rebuild? Well, it's it's all gone now. So Ice Dragon's a free agent now, and yeah, Kong with that left. Yeah. Can you imagine Kong with the the Hulkbuster in his left? Oh, my God. Unstoppable right there. It's probably better to do it this way because the left is so strong as is yeah, this is throw be real him to quick. you hit him back i'll catch him by the neck and ice dragon's like i have no sympathy for that guy yeah ice dragon's like look I, i'm i'm just here to win whatever i gotta do i bet on this is that baby kong no 
That's kind of cool. He's frozen. With his oh, eyes. got it. Okay, he froze his ex master. Yeah. They were all kind of fighting over who was going to get to kill this guy. That was that was that was pretty cool. Yeah, they all got a lot of anger. That guy sucked. So they were like, yeah, bro. So is that just like his war cry, like a victory? Yeah, it's it's like their haka. What are you doing here? Oh, here's Moth. Mothra, of course, shows up like, what? do you need help? Like, dude, it's over. Yeah. Oh, maybe she was bringing Gia back to the back to the people people. Yeah, in the OG Godzilla movies, Mothra does have some connection to like some human. I can't remember if it's like telepathic or if like the human. Like, yeah, I can't his. remember. It's been a while. We haven't done one of the older ones. We need to go back and do one. Yeah, now that we're done the most recent. Yeah. I can't remember why Gia left. For Earth in the last one, maybe it's because they didn't know these people existed and they thought like all her people were gone. Yeah, and wasn't it like she because she since she could understand Kong, she could help like translate to the dentist what's going on. Sounds right to understand if they could actually take his insurance or not. Yeah, because after what happened at the dentist in uh, Middle Earth, it was just. He was he was done dealing with that shit. Mm-hmm. Sorry, shallow earth. No, that's still not right. What is it? Hollow earth. It'll hollow earth. Shallow earth is good though. Kong divided by Godzilla. <laughs> Shadow Kong Bay. They should really confuse us and put like one of them in parentheses. Like, all right, fuck. How do I do that? What do I do first? Yeah. The parentheses? What is, yeah. What's what's the proper procedure here? PEMDOTS? PEMDOS? Yeah, foil. First, outer, inner, last, I think. There you so. go. There you go. That's All right, so Mothra is, Mothra is like that person, like, Mothra's going to get a championship ring and can go around and basically doing speaking engagements for the rest of his life. Even though he yeah. wasn't the star, he was definitely a contributor. Yeah. Like Shane Yeah. Same team, I think, board. right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why we're just naming those Heat players. I don't know either. Anyone that wasn't in the big three is falls into that category. Exactly. Godzilla's like, I'm renting the Coliseum, by the way, is where I sleep. Yeah. There's like beer bottles on the ground. Chinese food containers. Chinese, I was just about to say takeout. <laughs> so is Kong going to re- rule them now? Oh, no. The ice dragon is. Oh, oh no. Here yeah, we Kong go. Is. Yeah. Yeah, if he has the arm and the fucking axe, like, who's going to yeah. step up? What did you do, Baby Kong? Look yeah, dude, all. the I way Baby proud. Kong is going to tell this story to girls at his high school is going to be unbelievable. Oh, yeah. He's like, God, Kong was there, but it was mainly me that was, like, yeah. really doing things. Look, really he, push- he almost tapped out because he had a fucking toothache, okay? Yeah, he's a little bitch, Honestly, but- he looks big and bad, but he's kind of a pussy. But I'm close personal friends with them. Uh, there you have it, guys. That was uh, Kong X Godzilla. Or Godzilla X Kong, a new era. What's it actually called? A new <laughs> is it a new empire? A a new, yeah, you don't. Yeah, new empire. That's what it is. I don't even know what fucking movie you would just watch. Is it though? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. The new empire. Yeah. I just want to say, our new empire. Your new your empire. New empire. Um, <laughs> before we just start quoting the prequel Star Wars movies for the next 30 minutes, uh, Horns, final thoughts on the movie? I like these movies a lot. I think I like Godzilla vs. Kong better just because it was like this event film and like seeing them team up was great. But I do appreciate how they keep trying to uh, up the... I guess blockbuster entertainment of it. These are just good, dumb movies. They kept it under two hours. I think 
uh, at least in the end, they gave us enough like fan service moments to take away from it. So is it a five out of five movie? No, but it's a heavy three and a half out of five for me and uh, a good theater watch. And I just wish they would release it in the summer. I know it was spring, so it was close. But this is like to me, like you said, Fourth of July weekend. Yeah. Have six beers for the Cheesecake Factory and then go watch two apes fight each other. Yeah, that I mean, that's just a missed missed marketing opportunity. Um like you, I, I love these movies. They're they're dumb. They're stupid. I'm not in this for this crazy, awesome story. Um, I want monsters fighting, and I want humans to just kind of be there. And that that's exactly what this movie was. There was a bunch of monsters fighting, and humans were just kind of there. Um, I liked it. I thought it was great. I agree. I think uh, Godzilla vs. Kong was better. Um Again, because of the things you said, it was this big event. Um, it was cool seeing them just beat the shit out of each other and then coming together in the end and teaming up, obviously setting this up. So, um, but really solid movie. I think uh, out of all the movies that Godzilla's in, this is probably in the top half. So that's a good, it's a good number. So. I wish Godzilla was in it more because, like you said, it does feel like Kong's movie. Godzilla has some cool moments at the he, end. Yeah. But- to me, it kind of felt like Spider-Man Homecoming and Kong is Spider-Man and then Godzilla is like Iron Man. Ah, uh, yes, that was a that is a great uh, comparison. Great comparison. Uh, got anything else? No, I, I'm I am excited for the next one just because I think this one ends in kind of an interesting place. Yeah, I think with Kong having his own little army there, that's that could set up some really cool shit. And will rent go up for Godzilla at the Coliseum to where he has to move out or get a roommate? God, that would be crazy. Uh, I don't think he'll get a roommate. I think he'll I think he'll move to the burbs before he before he gets a roommate. I could see that he's getting up there in age. Yeah, I mean, come on. He's set in his ways. You know, people leave the toilet seat up. It's just the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, we are the Bro4 Squad podcast. Uh, don't forget to hit that like, that subscribe button wherever you're listening to us. YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, everywhere. Uh, pretty much anywhere you can listen to us, we're there. Uh, check out all of our content. Uh, it's linked out at our website, www.bro4squad.com. And uh, till next time, uh, I'm going to go and... Uh, I'm going to try and find some bananas that are big enough for Kong. Those are some giant-ass bananas, right? What if he doesn't like bananas and you bring them in? He's like, oh, wow, this is offensive. Why would you think I would like these? Or even worse, what if he was allergic to them? Oh, God. He's like, that's. He's like, but I knew there was a connection between you and bananas. See, that's progress. It's the thought that counts, right? I tried. Because, again, the thought was you're trying to kill me. Well, I'm obviously not going to beat you in a hand-to-hand combat. <laughs>